हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज डॉक्टर संदीप मदान योर एनाटमी एडवोकेटर लेट अस नाउ डिस्कस ए बी सो फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज नर्व सप्लाई टू द हाइपोथीनर मसल्स इज फ्रॉम वी नो द हाइपोथीनर मसल्स आर प्रेजेंट इन द पाम एंड इन द पाम एक्सेप्ट फॉर फ्यू मसल्स ऑलमोस्ट एवरी मसल इज सप्लाइड बाय द अल्लर नर्व ओके इंक्लूडिंग द हाइपोथीनर पामर इंट्रोसियाई डोर्सल इंट्रोसियाई एंड द लंबर थर्ड एंड लंबर फोर्थ एज वेल सो वी कैन सिंपली से द थीनर मसल्स ओके अलॉन्ग विद एल वन एंड एल टू वर आर थीनर मसल्स विद विद द वर्ड पॉलिसिस एबडक्टर पॉलिसिस ब्रेविस फ्लेक्सर पॉलिसिस ब्रेविस एंड द ओपोनेंस पॉलिसिस ओनली दीज थ्री एंड फर्स्ट एंड सेकेंड लंबराइकल्स विल बी सप्लाइड बाय मीडियम नर्व रेस्ट ऑल आर सप्लाइड बाय अल्नर नर्व सो दैट्स वाई ए इज द आंसर लेफ्ट सुपरारीनल वेन और लेफ्ट गोनेडल वेन बोथ ऑफ दैम दे विल ड्रेन इन टू लेफ्ट ट्रीनल वेन वेर एज देयर राइट काउंटर पार्ट विल बी ट्रेनिंग इन टू आई बी सी ओके एंड द रीजन इज एक्चुअली एम्ब्रोलॉजिकल बिकॉज द वेन आई बी सी डेवलप्स ऑन द राइट साइड सो लेफ्ट साइडेड वेन्स यू डू नॉट गेट द चांस टू ट्रेन इन हेयर सो दैट्स वाई दे डू नॉट क्रॉस द मेड लाइन दे रिमेन ऑन द लेफ्ट साइड ओनली नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज अबाउट कैपेसिटेशन नाउ कैपेसिटेशन इज द फाइनल स्टेप ऑफ मेच्योरिटी विच गिवस द परमिट इज अवर कैपेसिटी टू फर्टिलाइज एंड इट विल टेक अराउंड सिक्स टू एट आवर्स इवन दो ऑल द पार्ट्स ऑफ फीमेल जेनेटल ट्रैक्ट आर इन्वॉल्व इन द कैपेसिटेशन बट फिलोपियन ट्यूब कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट्स मोस्ट पार्ट ऑफ इट ओके सो डी विल बी द करेक्ट आंसर सिक्स टू एट आवर्स एवरेज टाइम टेकन इज द सेवन आवर्स Next question is the young patient with the absent thymus and hyperparathyroidism and tetany. Now, before proceeding, what is the diagnosis? The George syndrome. Now, like where it will be involving? So we can see here. This is the first. like pharyngeal pouch which will be making the tympanic cavity middle ear cavity along with the auditory tube so this is the auditory tube or eustachian tube this is like making the middle ear cavity this portion is going to make the tonsil that is the second pouch this part is going to make the thymus and also superior uh, also inferior parathyroid also inferior para thyroid so now if there is a defect here the patient will not have any thymus also patient will have will have some difficulty or you can say deficit of the para thyroid and that is what is exactly given picture so a a means the third pouch they have jumbled up a b c d they have not written in the sequence okay uh next question is arterial supply of cecum is through what so we know the cecum is supplied by anterior cecal artery posterior cecal artery and both of them are branches of iliocolic artery in fact appendicular artery is also a branch of iliocolic artery stratified squamous now stratification of the epithelium is seen at the sites where wear and tear chances are very high so all the openings of the body outside they are all like basically having the certification skin will definitely have vagina is an opening that also has the certification esophagus in continuity with the oral cavity because oral cavity is like an opening that is having the certification in continuity with the upper part of git that is esophagus will also have certification the only difference is uh the skin will have keratinization whereas in the vagina and the esophagus there will be no keratinization but regarding gall bladder it is a part of git it will be having simple columnar epithelium and there is no like there is no reason to have the certification and that's why it doesn't have so d will be the correct answer here most common type of cartilage covering the articular surface of the bone is hyaline so most of the time when you see the bone is there bone this end of the bone will have one cartilage over it this cartilage will be hyaline cartilage this is called as articular surface and over the articular surface we have a cartilage which is called as articular cartilage which is hyaline type but yes of course sometimes it can be fibro also if at all it is fibro in that case it will be resulting into atypical type of joints okay one of the example is temporomandibular joint where articular cartilage becomes fibro type 
okay so most common type will be hyaline only from and sign is positive in the relation of from and sign is what uh, basically we give the patient to hold the book okay uh, using the adductor so we will first explain hold it like this so we're using the adduction but if the patient's adductor is not working in that case because you have asked him to hold the book he will follow the instruction he will hold the hook he will hold the book but because the adductor is not working he will be using the flexor so it will be creating a froment so he will be creating a froment that froment test will be positive in case of ulnar nerve injury because this is what we are testing is the adductor pollicis normally adductor pollicis is supplied by ulnar nerve if it is not working flexor will be working and the patient will make a froment next question is patient middle aged woman uh, right hand tremors when she attempts to insert so as soon as some intention to do some activity there is a tremor it is called as intention tremor also the body is swaying towards the right side while walking and the physician is having the hypotonia that is flaccidity and uh, the tip of the nose is overshooting the target dysmetria all these are typical features of cerebellar lesion a patient recovering from the traumatic injury to the face now finds himself unable to chew the food in such type of like nerve injury cases we have to see what is the motor deficit of the patient sensory deficit of the patient and the site of lesion in this case patient is having inability to chew that is the motor deficit part now chewing is mastication which is done by muscles of mastication and the muscles of mastication are supplied by mandibular nerve and but this question is not about which nerve question is where this nerve will be passing from so indirectly first we have to make a diagnosis that which nerve is involved and the second step is to tell like this foramen is for this particular nerve and we know that foramen ovale will be the answer because mandibular nerve will pass from the foramen ovale overall structures which pass from the foramen ovale are may let us revise m4 mandibular nerve a4 accessory meningeal artery l4 lesser petrosal nerve and e4 emissary vein next question this is like favorite area of the examiners tyrion what lies deep to the tyrion is the middle meningeal artery which division of middle meningeal artery that will be anterior division anyway this middle meningeal artery is a branch of maxillary artery also they can ask which part of the bone lies deep to it then answer will be lesser wing of sphenoid lies deep to it or if they ask which part of brain is related here then we have stem of lateral sulcus these things can be asked in different ways okay all of them are related to tyrion only structure passing through the aortic hiatus are all except we know that from the aortic hiatus we have aorta structure which will pass from the diaphragm uh, aortic opening that is aorta that is uh, ajagus vein and t is for the thoracic duct sympathetic trunk is the answer because sympathetic trunk will pass behind the medial arcuate ligament it is passing behind the medial arcuate ligament what about the lateral arcuate ligament behind the lateral arcuate ligament we have the subcostal nerve and vessels structure passing through a piercing clavipectoral fascia are all except we know that we have call structures c4 cephalic vein a4 artery that is acromiothoracic artery l4 lateral pectoral nerve and l4 lymphatics so these are the structures which will be passing and if you look at these structures one is vein one is artery one is nerve and one is lymph so no structure is repeated in this case we have in the very first look we have two veins two veins cannot pass so one has to be the answer so obvious answer here is d basilic vein after having you see uh, enclosed subclavius and pectoralis spinal this clavipectoral fascia will continue as what it will continue as suspensory ligament of axilla it will continue as suspensory ligament of axilla next question which of the following arteries present in the anatomical snuff box 
वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट क्वेश्चन सो रेडियल आर्ट्री इज द करेक्ट आंसर हेयर एनाटोमिकल स्नॉफ बॉक्स एज वी ऑल नो इट इज लाइक बाउंडेड बाई टू मसल्स ऑन वन साइड वन मसल ऑन द अदर साइड इफ यू रिमेंबर इन द क्लास आई टोल्ड दैट वी हैव टू हाउसेज एंटीरियर लेटरल हाउस एंड पोस्टिरो मीडियल हाउस एंटीरियर में वी हैव स्मॉल ब्रदर सो एक्सटेंसर पॉलिसिस ब्रेविस पोस्टीरियर में वी हैव बिग ब्रदर एक्सटेंसर पॉलिसिस लॉन्गस नाउ द नेक्स्ट थिंग इज विच इज रिक्वायर्ड ओनली टू रिमेंबर द बाउंड्रीज एंड डोंट टेक इट अदरवाइज वट इज दैट द बिग ब्रदर वॉज मैरिड टू अ गर्ल नेम्ड एबडक्टर पॉलिसिस लॉन्गस बट देन देर वॉज सम डिस्प्यूट एंड द लेडी इन क्वेश्चन इज लिविंग विद द स्मॉल ब्रदर सो ओवरऑल वी हैव एबडक्टर पॉलिसिस ब्रेविस विद एबडक्टर पॉलिसिस लॉन्गस and extensor pollicis longus is making only one boundary and what is the content here is the radial artery and uh, of course who is present in the roof we have the cephalic vein and superficial branch of radial nerve very important one more mcq if there is a compression of the superficial branch of the radial nerve what will happen chiralgia so superficial branch of radial nerve if it gets compressed over here it will lead to chiralgia positive tendenberg sign we know that if the person is taking the right foot off of the ground now there is no support on the right side so right pelvis should tilt because of the gravity but the left sided muscles will start contracting they prevent the tilt on the right side even though there is no support the support is given by the left sided muscle question is which muscle gluteus medius and gluteus minimus from the left side gluteus medius and gluteus minimus will start contracting and they will prevent the tilt on the right side so if the tilt is observed on the right side weakness is not in the right side weakness in the left sided muscles okay so here the name of the sign is tendenberg sign the muscles we have learned which nerve is involved superior gluteal nerve because both of these are supplied by superior gluteal nerve horseshoe kidney lies below the level of inferior mesenteric artery it's a straight forward question sometimes they ask that the ascent of the horseshoe kidney is blocked by which artery or which structure answer will be inferior mesenteric artery so that was all dear friends keep on preparing well my best wishes always remember you can do it and always remember you are going to do it this time thank you so much